In this video presentation, I'm going to talk about the literature review on interactive storytelling. It has four parts, the introduction, literature review, conclusion, and my reflection of this paper. So in this paper, I have two research questions. The first one is that how interactive storytelling might be an effective way for young people's media literacy development and computational thinking, and how it be applied on different online learning and information sharing platforms, such as Facebook and Instagram. I have hypothesis that uh, the design and application of interactive storytelling based on web or mobile application is meaningful in learners' media literacy and computational thinking. The method is through literature review and uh, the analysis of some key concepts such as digital literacy, computational thinking, interactive storytelling, and the social network. According to Gerson Page, storytelling has been referred to as a word second oldest profession. Compared to linear stories, interactive stories are written in second person. It helps to turn passive audience to active participants, bring them to be part of the story and change the pilots as the story unfolds. There are many researchers design uh, a better immersive experience for users, such as tangible virtual thing based on augmented reality, mobile air medium, and the rewind mechanism. This is for computational thinking and the digital literacy. Kayla and Pasha found that digital uh, storytelling is helpful for learners to introduce basic concepts behind programming and the participants are more motivated to make progress. Protocol create an interactive storytelling web application on full studio to support use digital literacy practices. John Scott identifies social networks as inclusive networks, such as face-to-face -face relationships, political association and connections, economic transaction among business enterprises, etc. Sarah describes social networks as nodes of certain groups with the shared value and the social contents. In discussion part, I will introduce software and application of interactive storytelling. Twine, Lightwell, and uh, Scratch uh, or softwares for the creation of the interactive storytelling. And the first example of a application is a bubble. Um, so bubble set people under extreme environmental condition where people have to breathe in a bubble uh, through um, the interactivity of the interfaces, user can get a sense of importance of environmental protection. Another application example is Life is Strange 2, which is a video uh, game of interactive storytelling. Uh, player can make choice based on, um, based on the clues provided by the game. Each decision making will have impact on two characters later life and through the playing player will have emphasized with the story of two characters. So my conclusion of the paper have three. Um, first, interactive storytelling is a helpful way for user to develop critical computational thinking and the digital literacy skills. Many researchers that have combined interactive storytelling in different situations with AR and VR tools. The web or mobile-based storytelling application are used in these settings. It serves as an object to think with for users, for example, Scratch and the Bubble. Third, based on social network analysis, the application of interactive storytelling on social network platform have many possibility to engage user and attract audience in a larger community. My reflection is that a good story brings more than a sense of touch. It builds connection, facilitates learning, and conveys complex ideas in an engaging way. The experience of interactive storytelling is an inspiring process within which you might encounter frustration and depression, but ultimately you will be satisfied to find the joy of connecting with a story and more importantly, the joy of connecting someone who has resonance with you. Mm, thanks for your listening.